Jerome, you read my mind. I just sent you an instant message as soon as you jumped on. Hey, what's going on, man? Yeah, I literally just got it. <laughs> That's good. It's all good. How's the weather out there? It is it's all right. It's pleasant for now. Yeah. You know, starting to, temperature's starting to drop a little bit, but it's, it's not too bad. Smoky here from all the California fires. Yeah. Be careful out there. So um, I'm going to go ahead and we'll get this started. I'm going to get rid of right, my, my Japanese jazz that I always get pumped up to in the morning. Nice. It's my, my little calm, calming music. Uh, I understand. I got my saxophone. The, my smooth jazz, they helped me through it too. So I got gotcha. you. <laughs> that's, cool, that's cool. All right. So um, guys, this is going to be recorded here. So welcome. Um, you guys can come back and take a look. It's We're not doing this because we're better than anybody. We're just kind of showing some tips of what we do. And maybe you guys could use the same tips yourself. Um, I'm going to just go live into I know Jerome has some um, – some notes I got a couple notes and then you guys feel free to ask any questions if it's something that you're doing as well chime on in so Dustin Mansell, Mansell here I almost messed up my, my last name you got Jerome Dingo Davidson also known as Wolfness Way um, and you guys will see some cool things that we're going to show you guys just about our profiles about how we do our lives about how we gather uh, friends on Facebook about how I also have obviously this is a big thing with Epic you guys are on our Epic team I, I'll share with you guys my um my my post that I send to people on the messenger. If I go and hit up somebody, just a cold message, right? Or if I do something, somebody sends info to us. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all that as well. So if you guys could, if you guys could mute yourselves, um, you could unmute yourselves whenever you guys want to. If you want to ask a question, um, and then we'll go from there. So what's going on, Jerome? Uh, you said that the, it's cooling down a little bit in New York over there. Yeah, I mean it's okay. I mean it's still hot, but you know it's nothing like compared to like Philippines hot. So it's actually or kind of it's kind of pleasant right now. Or Las Vegas hot. Right, exactly. It was beautiful last night. Me, the wife and I sat out on our porch and had a bottle of wine and hung out. So it was beautiful last night. But during the day, it's hot. So yeah. what are, just just really quick, what are your routines that you do when you wake up in the morning? Like, what do you what do, you do right away? You jump on your, your phone right away? What do you do? Uh, what I usually do, uh, I'll, well, when I wake up, I check to see uh, what time it is because I usually don't set an alarm. So, yeah. <laughs> which yeah. is nice, but I usually wake up around the same time. It's usually around 1030, just by clockwork, even if I don't set an alarm. Yeah. Um, I usually, I'll usually have my music still playing from um, the night before. I use sleep music, you know, just help me relax after, a, you know, a hard day's work. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, I'll hear that in the background. I'll check my, I usually check my phone, see if my girlfriend texted me or whatever the case might be. And then, um just, you know, relax for a little bit, get up and then uh, have some coffee, you know, right. and then from there, I check my messages, see how many people are asking for, uh, you know, requesting for like information. If I did a post about, you know, the business that I'm, you know, showing the people, if they want information, they could just hit me up and then uh, I'll bang out my voice messages really quick. And then once that's done, then I'll start figuring out what I'm going to do as far as like food and whatnot. But usually every Every day, it's the same routine for uh, for the most part because you know I know how I like my day structured. I know that if I'm gonna do a post on Facebook, what time I like to do it, and um, like if I need like for today, I knew I had a meeting, so you know I got everything done kind of extra early, and you know just prep myself for today. <laughs> for sure. So you hit on something good right there that I want to get on right away. All right, if you guys heard what one of the things he does, he gets his voice messages out of the way. So what? Jerome did, and he did it to me. I didn't even know it until I was talking to him last night about it. And what he does, instead of messaging people on chat and typing it, what he'll do is he'll deliver with his own message and talk to them for a minute, maybe two or three of them will send to them. And then all of a sudden you get this, all right, this guy's real. It's a real person. He's genuine. And that's exactly how I met Jerome. He came in to ring this ALN. He hit me up on a messenger with the voice message. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. And I was like, dude, you got the voice to record your own. And then we just clicked. And Last night, out of what has it been about six, seven months now that we've known each other, you know, since Ringless, and last night we were chatting, and I was like, "Wow, that's genius! I never thought about that." R dropping a ring, uh, not a Ringless, dropping a voicemail into people's messenger instead of an actual, uh, you know, typing. Have you been using that for a while? Uh, yeah. The thing is, because you know, I've been doing this for the last five years, and I've done a lot of like mass texting and you know, like mass messages. But even if it's like, say, it's just like a copy and paste method, I always found it faster to just do use my voice 
and it's lower you know it lowers the barrier because you know i there's so many people on facebook you know i'm always close to 5000 friends and there's no reason there's no way i can always keep up with everybody so when i'm going to message this to say 20 people at a time if i'm shooting them a one minute message I'm repeating the same message, but it's just, I'm getting myself out there to let them know, Hey, I am a real person behind the profile picture. What's up? You know what I mean? Sure. Or, yeah. if somebody, or if somebody requests information from me, I get back to them and say, Hey, you know, here's the information that, you know, you requested, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And to, just to like make them feel comfortable because it's like a phone call. When you speak to somebody on the phone for the first time, you know, in any customer service business, the first five to 10 seconds of the conversation is kind of going to dictate how the rest of the conversation is going to go. And that's how I've always approached it too. Uh, when I was still working, uh, you know, a day job, you know, 20 years of customer service, I want to build that relationship and that rapport instantly. For so sure. that's the reason why, I, that's the reason why I started doing voice messages because it just, it kind of makes it easier and, you know, it does let everybody else know, Hey, this is a real person. You know, I do care about you. So, so, so like for, for me myself, so when I get, you know, somebody hits me up for information, I send them, I uh, have a scripted thing. I just send them, Hey, awesome, you know, decision, go watch this video, sign up here. If you trust me, it's 20 bucks, do it before you can watch the video. Now, what do you suggest? I follow up with that with a voicemail too, just maybe the next day saying, Hey, what did, uh, you know, just want to make sure you got all my stuff, you know, so they hear my voice. What do you suggest there? So what I usually do, what I have been doing uh, is when I'll tell them, hey, I, you know, I saw your, you know, I saw your request for info. I'm going to send you the information here. And then I give them a breakdown of what I'm going to send them. And then I'll sit down, I'll send it to them. And then I, I always say in the message, you know, you know, check it out. If you have any questions, you know, I will be here for you. I'll follow up with you tomorrow. So that way they know that I am going to follow up so they, they can hear it. And then, uh, you know, either they'll get back to me first or I'll just follow up with them the next day saying, hey, you know, you know, what do you like best about it? You have any questions about anything? You know, I'm here for you. I always say I'm here for you because some people feel like um, in this journey that they're doing this by themselves. But hearing that, you know, I'm here for you, it does give, uh, you know, that little bit of extra, you know, trust to let 100%. them know that it's not just going to disappear, you know? <laughs> yeah. When I came into it too, and same thing, I'd go and look at these leaders and who was what, and you'd see the reviews going, oh, it's great. But doesn't help you out takes your money and then just kind of leaves you on your own and getting actually with Michael Mansell he was one of the first ones that I jumped into heavily with and he was there I'd message him he'd message back hey can I jump on a zoom yeah I'd send him the link it was like that I'm like wow that is cool you're like the seven figure earner and you're getting back to me so quick and he's like money loves speed you know he goes it's and so I learned that from him I try to get back to people as quick as possible take care of people um and also anybody that's on here that maybe you don't have a big following we we could help too. Um, she's not on here right now, but Michelle uh, called me up yesterday and we chatted a little bit and we were going to try to close one. I even close. He's already a member um, of oh. Epic, but he was kind of needed some motivation. So we were trying to get a hold of him. Didn't work, but we're here for all that stuff. So, um, so going into that, guys, I'm going to go and share my screen real quick and then uh, kind of just show you guys my routine of what I did um, starting probably about last September. And what I started noticing is that using Facebook. Um, I had it for my friends and family and, you know, to show off my kids and I still do, but I started using it to get audience and, and the free audience and to market to free instead of paying Craigslist, instead of paying uh, Facebook ads or YouTube ads. I started noticing that I was only like at 600 friends and these are all my real friends. So as you can tell now, I'm close to like, like Jerome said, I, I'm hovering all the time at around 5,000 friends. Okay. And that's the max that you can have on Facebook. But what I did and I took this from my command sale, actually, is what I did is I started going to these Facebook groups and started going and, and just commenting on stuff. So the thing is, is, and I'll show you a little bit of trick of, of what I did that, that grew that. All right. And if you guys know this method, then give me a, this is an awesome method, whatever in the comments, let me know that you do use this as well. And Jerome, you could comment a little bit too. But what I would do is I'd go to maybe an MLM affiliate uh, market worldwide. And you'll see these will all pop up on here. As you can tell, I am a member of this one and I've posted a lot in these guys. But what I would do when I didn't have that many friends, and it's very important if you guys are gonna use Facebook and you guys are really serious about this, to use Facebook as a tool, all right? That means to go and get 5,000 friends. Don't be afraid. I didn't start making money until I got rid of being afraid of what people said about me. Oh my God, you do this, you do that. Uh, my uncle one time talked crap to me on here, like, oh, your TV thing, it's a scam. I'm like, 
how is that a scam? Yeah, you pay a hundred dollars and then you pay 20 bucks a month for every channel possible. You're paying $300 a month and you're getting shit or sorry, you're getting crap <laughs> channels. So how is that a scam? Like I'm helping people out. So right. your friend and friends are going to be jealous. A lot of them are, at least mine are. Um, now a lot of them are buying in and they've seen what I got going on. They're like, whoa, you're really making a living on this. I'm like, yeah, I'm making a living doing this. You know, like I made a lot of money doing the lighting thing, like over six figures. Uh, I mean, a lot. And then I, I wanted out. I wanted to spend the weekends with my family. I wanted to spend, make my own schedule, you know, and tomorrow I'm leaving tomorrow at noon to go drive to Arizona for five days to watch my son play baseball on my own schedule, my own time. So, well, if you're taking it serious, I would definitely get your friends up to 5,000. And an easy way to do that is, is as simple as this. All right. So here's a group, internet MLM affiliate marketing worldwide. I'm going to go into this guy. What I would do, and I haven't done this in a minute because I don't really have to right now, the algorithms with Facebook, they're adding friends for me and all that good stuff. But I would come in here and find a post, something that doesn't have much love at all. So you got this Cheryl Feldman, Hannah, she's talking about pharmacy. She has nothing. So what I would do with her, um, two things I would do. One, I would click on her profile to see, where, see what her profile looks like. Open it up in another tab. She has just a picture of a, of a pontoon boat and she has a picture of herself. She has nothing about her business in her bio at all, except for right here. What do you see wrong with that, Jerome? And um, well, there's nothing here. No, number two, you can't even add her as a friend because she doesn't have the uh, friends button out. So if somebody, if she wanted to connect with somebody, she can only do it through Messenger from so, what I see here. And there's, uh, yeah, you really click on the about. Yeah, so <laughs> there's nothing. It, 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 there's nothing here. So this is somebody that you know. Obviously, if I was going to be helping them out with the like the Facebook side of things, I would reach out. But I usually add somebody before I reach out. I don't like just sending a cold message. Hundred percent. Because ninety, look at ninety nine point nine nine percent of the time, it's going to wind up in spam in your uh, request, and you're not going to see it unless you actively look for it. So. So I see yeah. that this lady doesn't want her family and friends to know that she's doing CBD and she just simply wants to go and try to go to these affiliate marketing groups and do it, which yeah. it won't work. It just won't, no. it won't. So this right here, she's doing it the wrong way. If she, if she wants to go all in on CBD, she would add it to where I could add her as a friend and she would get 5,000 friends as well. So right. I'm not even gonna go and try to mess with her because she can't, I can't add her as a friend anyways. So let's see if there's another one. This isn't really loading for some reason doesn't go past the bottom. I might have to do it with her anyways, just to show you guys. Um, my, my Facebook's been doing this a lot lately. It doesn't load the bottom part. It just opens. Yeah, it's, it's Facebook is transitioning over to the new uh, Facebook layout. You're still using the older layout? Yeah. Yeah, so the, once you get the newer layout, it's been going faster. Everybody's going to be transitioned to the new uh, Facebook eventually. I was at it for a minute, and then it went back to the old one. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I don't get it. Yeah, so weird. anyway, so what I'll do really quick then is I'll just kind of take her as an example and, and she might add, add me as a friend, you never know. But what I would do is I would go and check out her profile and then I could see that she has no love here. So I would instantly go and give her a heart. Um, well, won't even let me give her a heart. I'll give her a like then. All right. And then what I would say is um, pharmacy. Pharmacy is awesome. Just a little something right here, and she's gonna probably hit me back and in my messenger and ask me to be if you know some if I want information, and then she'll most likely what most people will do is they will go once they click on my profile. They'll see that I did this. They'll reply. They'll usually go back and click on mine, and what they'll see with my uh, profile is that I'm not afraid to show what I have on my uh, on my profile. So I'm a living entrepreneurial lifestyle and loving it. And I have my wife on here. I got a signature. I got all the stuff in my bio. Mine is definitely not dialed in like Jerome's is. And I'm going to, this week, I'm going to, I'm going to kind of change this up a little bit, but this is still better than what she had. All right. And then she'd come in here and she's okay. Well, I like this guy. He's a father of five and husband of one. All right, cool. And she'd click to add the friend or she'd come and she'd hit me up in my messenger and she'd ask me some questions about in the mess. Hey, do you want some more information? I was starting a, 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 um, a conversation with her. And I'll be like, yeah, cool, send it on over and take a look at it, you know, help her out, and then I'll reply. And then what, what I used to do, and I'd probably do this right now if I only had 500 friends, I'd say, hey, I was taking a look at your profile, and, you know, you might want to change it up a little bit. If you're serious about this, you might want to change it up. And I actually have a video that I cut, like, a year ago that shows this kind of stuff, right, exactly what I'm showing you right now. And that's how I got to friends, um, up to 5,000 friends. You have it the same as me, Jerome. Like, it's not there right now, but when I was, like, at 2,000 3,000, this thing daily 
this friend's request was like 100, 200 nonstop. Right. Now, 25% were from girls that were trying to show me the nudes, I mean, or, or fake people that, yeah. were, you know. It's, it's going to happen like that, unfortunately. But, you know, I take the time, even now, I take the time to kind of scan who is going to be on my page because, you know, this is, this is your integrity, it's your business page. And, you know, you want to make sure you're doing things with integrity and you want to make sure you have the right people on there. So, yeah, I woke up with 102 requests this morning. So it's, it gets, you know, as soon as you take, like, especially when you're removing friends, let's say I remove a thousand friends, I'll get like 200 new requests within like 48 hours. And, yeah, you know, you, you got to figure out a, a method of that. I just kind of just do it throughout the day. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, definitely what you're saying works. Um, I've reached out to people as well you know, to let them know, hey, you know, this is a couple of things you can, you know, check out, you know, this is what I've been doing over the years, you know, maybe you can do this, this and this. It's been mostly positive feedback. And then of course, some people will curse you out because they feel like they know it all. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, I've got my, I've got my fair share of know it alls. And then I've gone back and checked them out. And they're three, four years later, they still haven't changed anything. And, you know, whatever the case might be, can't help everybody. That's one thing I had to learn over this journey is that, you know, I, I do like to take on people. I do like to coach and mentor people, but you got to meet me at least halfway too. You know what I mean? Because 100%. You, know, my, I, you know, my time is precious. You know, I always say that everybody else's time who's working with me is precious. So I don't want to waste their time. And, you know, you'll, you'll figure out who's serious and who's not, if you are, you know, going to give that type of advice and the type of response you give back. So it's all good. <laughs> no, for sure. You're going to get, yeah, a hundred percent. So um, going with that, guys. So this is going to happen. I mean, you're going to get people that are going to hit you up with a messenger. You could get a, a you know, create a relationship with them. I have one guy, his name's Robert uh, Fitzpa or Fitzgerald. I don't know if he's on here or not. He's probably going to watch this, but I've known him now for about eight months. And if I could go back and show you guys our messenger, and I thought I was, I thought I knew everything at the time. Oh, your thing sucks. And send me over what you have. I'll take a look. I'll tell you, I'm not going to sign up, but I'll take a look at it type deal. And Luckily, he stuck around. He's in all my programs, and I helped him out, too. And I kind of learned now that I don't know everything. I don't. So I try to learn every single day something new. Um, every, that's why I jumped on with Jerome, because Jerome knows things that I don't know. And you guys might know things that I don't know. And I want to absorb. I want to learn. This is even when my entertainment industry, I told all, I was like the top. I was the crew chief, the production manager. I was a dude. And I would tell all my guys, like, if you don't go into a gig and come out with at least two things new, then you're wasting your time. You're just going in there just working for a paycheck. I would go in and we were doing fights. So we were doing the same thing over and over and over again. And I would learn something new every time. I 10 things new every single time. But on my command sales, if you guys are part of the AMP deal, he has a cool little feature in there that is called friend remover. And if you're up to 5,000 friends, and I need to do this as well, I've just been lagging. But you could actually, it's, a, it's a, a, an app that removes friends from your, um, from your deal. And it does it automatically. It'll go and search to see who hasn't engaged, who has, and who has the most engagement. And then you'll just see the people that are dead ducks. They haven't done anything. Zero. They haven't liked the post. Zero. So you just get rid of, you could get rid of 500 a day. Get rid of them and then add 500 more that week. It's a new audience. And I got to do that because my, my um, lives that I have done um, has been the out, definitely the most um, people have signed up with epic with me for my lives and i'm gonna go into that really quick the live so as you could tell um let me go to another one here this might be boom all right so here's a live that i did i finally ready, ready to make some real money and i was hyped up in this and i remember this video like i was in it to, to win it basically and a lot of people had 15 comments i had a lot of people that were hey can you tell me more and what they were doing, once they, once they replied, hey, can you tell me more, I would instantly come in here. Let's go. What was that guy's name? His name is William. Let's go. I think William signed up with us, actually. William Mosley. Um, boom. So as soon as he did that, he did sign up because I sent him this. Uh, so as soon as he sent it, I sent him a uh, – I guess I didn't send him anything. But well, usually what I would do is I would send him this right here. Let me go. And I'm going to share this with you guys as well. It's my follow-ups and it's all the stuff. So what I sent him, what I thought I did at least, what I sent most people is awesome decision, jump in with us ASAP uh, to get a top spot. We're giving away free level five leads ALN worth $1,000. Now I could change that to we're giving away leads ALN or a text ALN. Um, either one of them now is what we're going to give away starting today or starting yesterday. 
I'm going to say $20 locks your spot, yada, yada, yada. You guys all know this. You guys are an epic, right? So what happens is he's going to go watch this video. And then if he wants to, he's going to hit me back or he's going to go and he's going to, and he's going to um, enroll. It sounds to me like he just enrolled. That's why I do not have um, anything. I think he just enrolled. I must have. Oh, this, I see what happened. Yeah, I just hit him up right away and said, hey, just go sign up. And it looks like he did. And, and, but either way, so if he didn't sign up, what I would do is hit him up tomorrow. I'd follow up. That's, that is a big reason why you see a lot of people, myself included, I could just simply go and post this and put my link in here, right? And I could have everybody look at my link. But how am I going to follow up with those guys? The, the gold is in the follow-up. Yep. So when somebody requests information, you send them your, 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 the information, then the following day, and I'm going to start doing this like Jerome's doing it. The following day, I'm going to hit him up with a voice message. Hey, is Dustin is checking in. I just want to see if you watch that video, whatever the case may be. And it's going to be me live and recording and sending it to them, but it's going to be in the follow-up. And there, I mean, this goes on for days and there's uh, my buddy I was telling you about wherever he went, but all these guys, Dolan, he hit me up. I followed up with him. He's, he, he bought in. Louis, uh, Louis uh, Guitar Lou, same thing. Brett, George, all these people hit me up for information and they are all now part of Epic. So it works. So when people, when you post up something on your Facebook, ask for, um, <clears throat> tell them, hey, comment link for the link or comment whatever. So that way you know that you sent it to them and then you can follow up with them. And yeah, that's yeah. good, right, Jerome? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's exactly, I mean, sometimes it's just, you know, just keeping it simple. And, you know, like I had said, um, I have shot a, um, shot a video a couple of days ago. And one thing that I said is that when you post something and you give somebody an instruction, you know, they'll follow it if they want like info, like, uh, you know, the post I did a couple of days ago, you know, if you want to check this out, you know, comment info. And I had people comment info and then I just hit them up in the inbox afterwards, you yeah. know, without thinking, without making it super, super like complex and complicated because especially nowadays, uh, from what I've noticed is that people want results. You know, I see a lot of, uh, I see a lot of posts that go on a little way too long and it's way, way too long before they get into like the meat and potatoes or what the post is and what the call to action is. You want to grab people's attention quick. So, you know, if you're putting out just a little bit of information to, you know, create that curiosity and then you say comment info, some people will. And then I'm going to do exactly like what you did is when I do my live, I'm going to refer to the post that I did and then I'm going to bring it up even more by talking a little bit more about it, giving more information. And then that's how I'm going to be able to grab, you know, you know, more people who are interested and give them the right information. So, so everything is always a structure because whatever you post, once you post it, you don't forget about it. You always want to refer to it back in some way. That's one thing I've, you know, a little trick that I've learned over the last couple of years is that one post, it doesn't matter if you just posted it once, you can always go back to it and refer to it. Yep. For sure. Um, it's funny. You said to get to the meat and potatoes. It's, I toured with Bon Jovi for like four or five years. And one of his things was, was don't bore us, <clears throat> get to the chorus, like get right to it type deal. And you kind of want to keep people engaged though. Like I, I try to the first couple of minutes talk about what it is. And then I let them know, you know, the call to action because I don't want them to just, Oh, this is epic. And then get away and move. I want them to see what it's all about first right. before they get into that. Um, but so here's one guys, this is a guy I went to school with um, from, I've known him since I was probably six, seven years. I played little league with this guy. And when you think that nobody's looking at your videos, <clears throat> this is a perfect example that they are. And he said, Hey, I'm looking, you know, I'm tired of living a paycheck to paycheck, uh, child support. So I said, what's up? Sent him this cool little thing, told him, you know, what I used to do now that I'm making a good, decent amount of money and watch it. And he never got back to me. So today when I'm scrolling through, I just sent him a thing. Hey, did you check out the video? And he said, no, but for sure tonight I'll hit you up later and tell you. So, that's just a follow-up. So now he's going to, he probably would have never went back and watched this, but now he's going to be like, Oh, I got to go watch that video. Now he's going to go watch it. Hopefully he jumps in with us. It's a perfect opportunity for anybody who's never been in affiliate marketing to jump into this opportunity. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. Hi, BB, by the way. <laughs> um, so yeah, guys, I mean, that's another cool little trick there. Oh, on the yeah. What's that? Can you scroll down so I can see the, the text? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you have your phone now, Vivi? <laughs> because I'm taking screenshots so I can recopy it when I have time. <laughs> well, I will, um, here, we'll I will. Send it, we'll send it to you. No worries. <laughs> yeah, well, I will get this and put it onto my Word doc. Where'd it go? Come on. 
And I'm going to share this with you guys anyways, but here I'll. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. We got you. There that you way go. I don't have to rewrite the whole thing. I can just copy and paste it, right? Correct. Yeah. Correct. So here I'm going to get rid of that. Boom. All right. And then I'll say that. I'll send this to you guys in our, in our uh, chat there when we're done here. But um, yeah, so guys, that's what I do with the um, with the follow-up to friends and family. And he's most likely going to get signed up. If he doesn't, oh, well. Um, but at least I got it in front of his eyeballs. Um, what else do we have? Here? Who's that? Um, I'm going to get out of here. So what else you got there, um, Jerome? Uh, I was going to say uh, one thing also is that, you know, when we're doing these posts, uh, actually, if you want to go to my page real quick, uh, one thing you want to do, too, is while you're doing these posts is not to post about your business every single day. You know, you, because like I was saying, you kind of want to mix things up to keep your audience engaged. And, you know, one of the things that I like to do is remember what I was saying, to keep things very short and like to the point. So my last post, like I said, I like to mix it up. I pretty much got right to the point of what it is I was trying to say. And, you know, there's a lot of people doing a lot of different businesses and, you know, we all want to motivate each other. We all want to see everybody win. And you got to talk about a lot of things that people won't, you know, won't necessarily say out of their mouth, but they might be thinking it. You know what I mean? Like, for example, here, I talk about obstacles knocking you down a mountain and I just happen to be standing by a mountain. So it kind of relates and just letting people know that, yeah, it's not going to be easy, but it's up to you. If whatever your desire is, whatever your view is, doesn't necessarily have to be a mountain. You know, it could be whatever it is that you want to do. You want to spend more time with your family. You know, you want to travel the world. You want to stay at home and play video games all day. Whatever the case might be, you know, we do want to boost each other up and motivate each other. So that's a nice break in like business talk. You know, I only post, the reason why I was telling, um, oh wow, my phone is ringing. Sorry about that. <laughs> but okay. give me one second. I'll have to cut this one out of our recording, guys. Sorry about that one. <laughs> I'm going to actually go from what he's saying really quick, so I know what he's getting to, and being personable with um, with your post. Now, there's somewhere in mine, I was going to go search my, my Facebook, but I can't. But I was in a car accident four years ago, and it almost killed me, and I got my, my accident, my pictures in there, and also I wrote a post, a long, long post to get engagements, right, and about what it is and let people know that I'm real. And that's the all same right. thing he's saying. <laughs> Come know, back. Sorry about that. <laughs> I kind of jumped in with you a little bit and said about, you know, the personal post. Um, you know, the one that I posted, I think last year is about how when I was in a car accident and yada, yada, and just showed that I'm a real person. So what you're trying to say to them is show that you're a real person, right? Yeah, basically. It's just, you know, show that, you know, you are a real person and that, you know, you can relate to some of the struggles that some people are going through because even I struggled, you know, I didn't know nobody was just, you know, they just woke up and they started being successful with anything, especially on Facebook. You know, it could be, you know, trial and error. Yeah, you got some trial yeah. and error going on in your background yeah, here. Speaking of, speaking of trial and error, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you know what, that's why, that's the reason why we jump on these and, you know, it's raw, it's live, anything can happen. It's all in, you know, how you deal with it, you know what I mean? It's whatever the case might be. But, yeah. again, you don't I'm live with my kids, so trust me, you got to show how real, how raw and real that you are, because if you pretend to be perfect, people are not going to buy it, so. Right, exactly. I mean, you got to, and plus, you know, you got to laugh at these things, you know, even if you plan things out perfectly, you might have something like a siren or whatever, or like, you know, <laughs> something yeah. comes up, uh, there's, there's so many bloopers I can show you guys. I, I know you mentioned, uh, starting a channel but you'll have lots of videos on my end alone so <laughs> i gotta make a couple of uh, recordings today so i'm sure i can get some bloopers out of it i want to show you guys another trick if you guys weren't on didn't watch the live yesterday check this out you ready look at that oh, yeah how cool is that so i got another room behind my my brick wall and see my brick wall i can move with my hand that's pretty cool huh? yeah man it's oh. a special power that you got i like it <laughs> green screen's the way to go i can tell you that much you can change your background to wherever you want to um i think i know it's a trick that I'm tr I'm trying to like like uh, study these guys, uh, and they have these things in the back, but they always have a mic right here. I think what the mic is for is to create that 3D effect, so it looks like yeah. it's really behind me. You know, what I mean, like right now I'm touching the cloth, and it looks like I'm not. You know, um, except for that side. This all good. That side. <laughs> I'll move it. But anyway, so yeah, man. Um, for sure, personable. So not everything about your business right away, right? Um, I mean, right. you got some um, some personal stuff in here. Then you've got your business stuff right here. Look at that. You got 80 comments on that thing, looking for info, info, and hopefully, 
I'm, I mean, that's, that's money. I mean, that's, that is money right there, the info. Then look at this. What did you do? You use Canva for that? Uh, I use, um, I use Pixar. So back in the day, I used to use Photoshop all the time and then I had to find an alternative. So I use a combination of uh, Pixar. Um, that's just a photo that I just took and I just edited it just a little bit with Pixar. That's it. Yep. I like that. I like that one. Yeah, um, something, to grab, something to grab attention. You know what yeah. I mean? That's what it all, it's all about creating the curiosity, you know? And this then, is uh, my, uh, I love this one right here. If you guys haven't seen this video, I love this video. <laughs> here, <laughs> you know what? We're watching this thing. <laughs> Let me blow that up. I noticed that I shared no. <laughs> no. How do I blow it up? Okay. I've actually been away from right. Facebook for a while. Here we go. Listen, check this out. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to see you. Welcome back to uh, my world. I hope everything is going well with you guys. Happy Friday. And you might have noticed that I shaved. <laughs> I'm getting a little too wolfish up top. And number two, I've actually been away from Facebook for a while. And there's a reason for that. So I believe in multiple streams and income. And my partner and I, Dustin, we actually have partnered up to build a new business together. Which I'm super excited about. That's in pre-launch right now. When I say pre-launch, you know how powerful that could be, especially when you could be first in any company, all right? So let me tell you a little bit about it. First of all, we're helping people acquire a skill that they can have for the rest of their life. And basically what it does is teaches them how to tap into a market that does $6 trillion a day. Yes, you heard me right, $6 trillion a day with a T. So that's the first part. Second part is the compensation plan, which is absolutely amazing and actually helps people focus on building a team and helping their team make money. You know, that's something that I always like to do. And it's not only about me making money, I love to bring people along with me and have people make money as well. And this is residual income. You know, the money will keep coming over and over again. And we all know we got residual bills, so why not have some residual income? So we have things in place to help our team win. Lots of bonuses, and again, to be able to lock the top spot. When I say top spot, I mean we're literally right next to the founders and co-founders of this business. And you can lock in your spot during this pre-launch of all of September for $20, all right? So it's absolutely amazing. I've been excited about this. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to show you a quick teaser video, all right? After you watch the video, if you want to learn more information, comment $20 down below. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send you a PDF with some information Mostly going to send you a powerful video that you definitely want to pay attention to because once I saw the power of this, there was no way I was going to let it pass me up. So, hope you guys stay well, show the video, and we'll talk again soon. Woof. That's cool, man. So, a couple of different things. Can you walk us through that video? I mean, basically, you were just simply just walking down New York Street somewhere and just cut a video, right? Yeah, just, just raw and uncut, just walking down the street, you know, talking. It's actually a callback to the way I used to do videos when I first got started uh, making videos. I started my YouTube channel back in 2018, and that's what I used to do. I used to just walk around the neighborhood, just shooting my face and kind of just giving my thoughts on everything. So this was like a callback to the way I used to do it rather than just sitting down, you know, anywhere, you know, just walking and talking, giving my thoughts about th something. And, um, you know, just creating that curiosity, you know what I mean? Not telling them that, you know, exactly what it is, but saying, hey, this is a skill that you can acquire. Six trillion dollars a day, you know, industry, something that you keep for life. You know, you work with your team. It's residual income. We got residual bills. Why not some residual income? So just like little points that can stick out in their head. And then that teaser video right afterwards, you know, it kind of, it just pushes that, you know, narrative. And I got a lot of people who hit me up after that too. You know, not everybody has signed up yet, but they hit me up and then they're kind of getting their situation together, which is fine, you know, and um, then I'll just follow up with them, you know, see what they think. And, um, you know, I'm actually going to put out another video today that, you know, that blooper video that I shot yesterday is going to lead into the long, you know, it's going to lead into the longer video yep. and I'm going to put an emphasis on, uh, I'm going to put emphasis on watching it. And there's another little trick too that I use besides just voice messaging, I will also shoot a quick video, like a quick little video to say, Hey, you know, here's the video, check this out. I'm going to send it to you right now. You know, and when they see you, they'll pay attention to it. So yeah. it's another way to stand out because you got to think these people are getting pitched in their inbox all day. They're getting a whole bunch of people saying hi with nothing else. 
They're getting people waving at them with nothing else. So if they go to the inbox and they see a whole bunch of hi, 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 a wave, oh, Jerome sent you a video. What the hell is this? And then they open it and they're like, oh, okay. You know, you got, it's kind of like inbox wars. <laughs> That's what Facebook, you got to realize that Facebook marketing is mostly inbox wars. Yes, you're going to post things on your page. You're going to get sales from your page. You're going to get friends from your page. But what you do in the inbox to set yourself up and set yourself apart from what everybody else is doing. Sure. That was an accident. That's okay. <laughs> Talk about bloopers. Um, ah. All good. So what I wanted to do kind of in this, I mean, not end it, but I want to show another quick trick because I know that Michael Mansell in his, um, in his, on the telegram, he's going to give away a hundred subscribers. Um, subscribers. Um, why do I hear myself twice? All right. I think it's good now. So he's going to give away a hundred subscribers for you. So if you guys are doing anything with YouTube, um, check this out. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of something here. It's a little secret. All right. So YouTube, right? Let me go to YouTube. And I'm going to go to my channel. And you guys should be taking advantage of YouTube as well, whether it's just raw and uncut, whatever the deal may be. You guys should say, hey, just talk to my buddy Dustin Mansell. And man, we got this brand new epic uh, trading platform that you get started for 20 bucks. Um, all the information is down below. Check out this video. You can put the video in there and start putting this out there. And as you can tell, I got 1.3 thousand followers, right? Last week I had like, a 300 right and so what i figured out i was watching and if you guys are in amp stars with michael mansell go to your back office and look up youtube videos of how to rank those things high and a couple there's two different tricks that i learned with him right one of them is to get these things when you record the video you record it and, and you upload it and you put it as as unlisted right and then you share it with as many people as you can to get views on it all right and you could also go purchase views and you can purchase subscribers and you can purchase comments. You can purchase likes, you can purchase all that stuff and you get it to over a thousand views and then you turn it on to open it to public. And when you open it to public, Facebook or uh, YouTube thinks that it's the best video out there and it starts ranking up on top, ranking and ranking and ranking. And then you, so his trick right now to go and, and, and look up, um, Epic trading and then click on his and comment. That's just the algorithms of YouTube. It's going, man, everybody loves this. So it just keeps going up and higher and higher and higher. And on his deal, you could purchase views and it's not fake views, it's real views. So there's people that actually will view your video. So this will be 2.9 thousand views is probably about 2000 of them that have purchased. Right. But now if you're to go and search this guy, um, I mean, at least if you search me type deal, it's going to come up pretty high. I haven't done is I haven't gone as far as he has as, as having you guys like look at the keyword. Um, but I, I will at some point though, to get these things ranked a little bit higher, um, because the more signups that I get, you guys are part of my team. So the more skill over you guys get as well. I've already got my three, like the first 10 minutes that I was in the Epic. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, but that's a, it's a, it's a cool trick. So I think it's, it's my social now, now, let me see, now.com. Yep, that is it. So when you come in here, you go and you could, uh, you could do like likes, shares, comments. Um, here's the views. So if I was to come in here and I was to click on this, I could purchase it for $14 uh, will give me a thousand views, right? So for 14 bucks, I get a thousand views to my, to my deal. I would put my YouTube um, thing in here and then I'd hit, I'd buy it, hit submit. And then he goes and he gets a thousand views. How he does it? I have no clue. I mean, you talk about a magician. I mean, that. I don't, I'm not exactly sure what he does, but he does it and it works. So, um, fall, I mean, with him, like if you're to go right now to YouTube, sorry, little thing popped up and you're, and you're look up Epic trading, he's going to pop up. Look at that. Epic trading, my command sells the first two. So what he's doing works. And so I would follow, I would go to his amp stars. If you're, if you do not have an account there, get with your sponsor or hit me up and I'll give you my link or Jerome's link. And he has the, the tricks on how to get these up top. So imagine if you're a person, right? And you're looking at Epic Trading. <clears throat> and the first thing that I do is I go to Epic Trading Reviews is what I do. Not with two E's though, with one. <laughs> there you go. And then boom, he would pop up. Ontarian Hawkins, which, which is a really good dude, um, he pops up. So he knows the strategies as well. 
So I would go and all right, well, this, what's the three things I have to watch, to learn? I would click on this and then he would explain exactly what the deal is. And it's basically click, I guess, clickbait to tell you the truth because he's telling you that what they won't tell you, but he's really telling you how you should join his team. It's just genius. Um, so he's going to be on top. So if you were to do it, Jerome, if you were to go look at Epic Trading and go to YouTube reviews, what would you do if you looked on these things? Uh, well, basically, I would be doing a lot of like what you know Michael is doing already. I mean, I'll be looking for. I mean, the wording does make a, a difference, too. Um, I mean, when I, I I have learned some YouTube tricks over the years as well, and um, what you just showed me actually is again, we all learn from each other. You know, we all yep. learn something new. So I know about ranking the keywords and and everything, but I had no idea about the views. So that actually makes a lot of sense and um, how to actually bring it up while I was unlisted. Yep. So, you know, this is pretty cool. Um, from what I see also of uh, the word, whenever somebody puts the word scam in, you know, their title it's going to do well because yep. it's basically saying that, you know, is it a scam? And then they'll tell you why it's not a scam. Hey, let's, see. Then, <clears throat> let's see. I'm going to kind of, so why should you not be an Amazon store owner? <laughs> well, here's on, a million me... reasons. Why. Oh, wait, oh, that's get back. Hey guys, Mike. All right. So down here, it's going to bring up, um, if you got two buddy, you guys should get it. Um, and it's going to bring up his, his, uh, keywords. Yeah. He's going to bring up his keywords. It's going to, yeah. Look at that. Epic trading scam. Yep. Make money Forex. My right. Yep. Well, oh. As long as you put that in there, because that's what people are going to be, because that's the first thing people always think of whenever there's a business always is a scam. Yep. It's just human nature. You know, they're always going to think, you know, what is, you know, is it a scam? And they're going to type that in. And then that's why he knows to put that in there or review, review and scam in any business are always going to be the first two words that people are going to look up for. If they're looking for like information, you know, on, you know, on the webs is always going to be like that. It's been that way for whatever I've done it in the past, you know? <laughs> so if you guys, and if you guys do not have two buddy, here's another little trick that I used before I got two buddy is you right click in this area <clears throat> and come down and you're going to go to view page source. Just to open up in another deal, and there's all kinds of mumbo jumbo. Old if, school HTML. <laughs> yep. If you go to find, which is mine's on my Mac, is Command F, and I would go to keywords, <clears throat> and this will pop up, and I can see all of his keywords that he uses. These are yep. all keywords, and I can see which ones are hot. And what I did back in the days, and I would just go and copy all these and paste them into mine. Um, now with the YouTube or the TubeBuddy, I don't really have to do that anymore. But um, and then now, obviously, with the views too, so. Just a recap really quick. When you guys upload your videos, upload them to unlisted, get as many views as you can, okay? Um, and then once you're done with those views, here, let me show right here. So these guys are not listed right now. So this one here, I'm gonna probably go purchase some views for this today. Um, and then probably in a couple of days, this will get over about 2000 views. And then I'll come in and I'll make it go to listed. And then YouTube will think that I'm the best because how do I just upload something and get 2,000 views? And when somebody Googles me or YouTubes, whatever, well, I'll pop up pretty high on the list. Um, so that's just a quick trick from YouTube. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So I think that kind of does it um, with what we, unless you have anything on your list that you want to talk about, Jerome. Um, we, we covered most of it. Um, I mean, have a question. Covered, yeah, go for it, Vivi. Do you do those thumbnail, thumbnail on YouTube using Canva? Yes, I do. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, that's it. That's all I need to know. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. There's a couple of different yeah. tricks too. I'll show you really quick that like if I go to here, hopefully it doesn't start playing. If it does, I'll stop it. Hey, boys, no, go. All right. So <clears throat> if you see here, I'm going to go to edit the video. So when I go edit it, come on, get my ugly face off there. Uh, you can see right here is my thumbnail that I do, right, in Canva, and then I upload it. And there's a ranking that happens with TubeBuddy, and I'm not sure if it's here because I barely started using it, but it'll tell you that you should have a high-quality um, um, thumbnail, yeah. thumbnail. And it'll also tell you, which I never did before, it'll also tell you um, to add an in, what is it called, the in-screen thing? That's like yeah, the, the beginning and end screen. I've, I've never done it. I've seen some marketers do it. Um, it's... I kind of guess it's a hit and miss. I mean, it's something new to learn. You could try. I've tried to learn it, but then in, I, after what I've seen in other videos, I haven't seen anybody really utilize it. It's mostly for like, uh, from what I've seen is maybe like from other content creators, but like business wise, I haven't seen too many people utilize it, but it could be, it could be something to use though. 
to it lead is. them to another video. It is because even like the, it'll yeah, tell you there somewhere, it'll tell you, hey, like it ranks your score. Um, like if you did an end deal, and basically what the end thing is, I'll go to the end here. Let's see here. And I teach you how to do everything that I just did, and you get all my share codes. Bam. So another video pops up to something else, which I need to get rid of the dressage video because I'm still getting hits on it. Um, yeah. And then it'll tell me, you know, to subscribe. So this is very important. So people at the end of it will subscribe. And most likely, it'll be a different video. This one's hot right now. I've been getting hits on this. I need to like, change it to epic so I get hits on that. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, so that is kind of the in-screen deal. So that's important. I used to skip over that all the time. And now, oh, there it is right here. So high-res thumbnail, <clears throat> shared on Twitter. I haven't done that yet. I pinned a comment. So that means that I commented on here and I pinned it to the top, mm. right? Um, comment hearted. Yep, I heart, I, that means somebody commented on mine and I, heart, I hearted it. And then the, uh, the in-screen added. So that's important. And as you, this, this still is telling you exactly what to do, right? I haven't looked in the chapters yet. I haven't really looked into the info cards yet either. But, um, but yeah, it, it works. So I'm going to stop my share here. And uh, you good? Yeah, I'm good. Um, I mean, I think we, we covered a lot of things, <clears throat> that, um, you know, especially, like I said, engaging with the conversation because that's what we're going to be mostly doing you know we're going to be talking to people we're going to be sharing information that's yeah. the only that the mindset is that this is a numbers game you know our job is to share information like i i have a famous quote that i have to say i don't i do not waste my time trying to convince people to make money you know i'll say it again i always say it's i don't con try to convince people to make money because our job is just to share information and then they take what they will out of the information and then they're going to make a decision from there. So you don't spend so much time racking your brain of, Oh, why this person don't want to join? It's only $20. You know, what did I do wrong? You know, maybe I should have pushed harder. No, as long as you get the information out to the person who requested the information, you're good. And things are going to fall where they may, you're not going to grab everybody. So it's all a mind, you know, it's a numbers game, you know, Everybody that you bring with you also, you know, you can't be, you can't be their work ethic. You can only have your own work ethic. You can inspire, you can do everything that you can, but ultimately it comes down to the individual, what type of effort they're going to make. And as long as you go in with that mentality, you won't stress yourself out. 100%. 100%. Yeah. Anybody had any questions? Are oh, we good? Any questions from anybody? Is, uh, open up your mic and ask us. We can answer anything that we may know. Um, I'm going to post in here my link because I found it to the one where I talked about my car accident. And you guys can kind of see how personal I got. I got a picture of myself. My, my kids are in here. And then I got a lot of, of comments. Lot of here too. Um, so <clears throat> anything from you guys. Another thing really quick I didn't get to. We kind of touched it a little bit. And you just touched it again. But engage with your messages. If people are hit you up, they become your friend and they say hi, whatever it is, engage with them. Hey, what's going on? Do not ignore them. Yeah. Ignore them, then they're gone. Find out then what they're, they're about. Gone. Yeah. So engage with them. It's very huge. So grow your audience to 5,000 as quick as you can. <clears throat> engage with all the people that hit you the messenger. A lot of them are going to be spam. So maybe try to filter, you know, what they are. You're going to get a lot of people from like Uganda that are looking for money for their church. And I don't know if they're real people yeah. or if they're not real people. So try to block that out. I, what I watch a little bit when I friend somebody is if they have mutual friends. A lot of them with Jerome or Ruby or whatever the case may be. I, I make sure that they're mutual friends. So I usually add them. That's a free qualifier right away for me. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, that's it, guys. Um, I guess if there's no other questions, we will have this recorded. You guys can go rewind and see kind of what we do. I would I would definitely do Facebook Lives. <clears throat> I would definitely do YouTube. Oh, okay. Yeah, Vivi, no problem. Yeah, Vivi said we'll catch up soon, no doubt. And yeah, like I said, we don't mind jumping on these, you know, to answer any questions, you know, because there's going to be new questions, you know, regardless of how much experience you have here on Facebook or whatever marketing strategy you're mm -hmm. using, you know, we'll do our best to answer all questions for sure. Yep. <clears throat> What's up, Rodney? Hope your day's good. <clears throat> yeah, all Rodney, right. hope you feel better, man. <laughs> Yeah, I'm about to just uh, make an appointment and then I'll go see my personal doctor tomorrow. Ah, cool. So I'm going to tough it out one more day and then I'll be all right. All right, brother. Good, good, <clears throat> man. Good to see you. Thanks for hopping on, man. Of course. I had to show the support. For sure. Yeah, no doubt.
we'll jump this. We'll, we'll put this into YouTube. I'll share the link with you guys. You guys can go rewatch it. And uh, Jerome, thanks as always. And everybody else, thanks for jumping in. And any questions, we love it. You guys have a blessed, uh, what do we got today? Monday.